Hey there, Ange here, and this is a journey to a full push-up. One of the most important things when working on your push-up strength is to scale it to your ability. And then when you nail that one, you can do five sets of eight reps, easy, or at least keeping your form, then move up to the next stage. So I'm gonna take you through from easiest to more advanced, and then what you could do is start at the easiest, mark it off when you're good to go, next one, next one, next one. You can always come back to the video and get your um, more advanced moves when you're ready. Okay, so one of the most important things that I like to do before a push up is just a little bit of scapular work. So just a quick overview. If we bring our hands here, we reach forward. That is what we call protraction. And then we squeeze back, slide back is retraction. So just have a little bit of awareness here of your shoulder blades, forward and back. And you can do the same thing in more of a push-up position by bringing the hands down. You can just keep the knees underneath the hips for now. If you drop the chest and squeeze through the back, that's that retraction. If you press away, that's protraction. Now, being careful that the shoulders aren't near the ears here. You wanna keep them down and back. Whole hand, we want to be spread the fingers and the whole hand on the floor is really important. So just do a couple here to warm up through your shoulder blades. Make sure that we're aware of them. We can feel them sliding forward or back. We can keep our spine in neutral as we do this. For four, yeah, three, two, and one. Now, I would ideally do about three sets of 10 of those in whichever scale of push-up I choose um, before I actually start my actual push-up. Um, couple more things, general points on keeping a good push-up position. So as I mentioned, the shoulders, hands hip width, uh, shoulder width apart, we tuck our toes, so I'll just go for a full, but this will be applied at every stage. Now, a few things to remember. One is that we don't drop our hips, letting our lower back sink. And then the vice versa, you don't wanna have your hips up here. So sometimes it's good to actually film yourself, see where you are. Now, you don't want your bottom sticking up. We want a nice long spine, glutes active, and then the ribs in towards the back body here. Okay, now the other problem that I see a lot is the head dropping down. So we wanna think of looking like a triangle just in front of us, nice long neck here. And as we push, as we bend the elbows, the chest and belly are lowering at the same time. And then the chest and belly are lifting away at the same time. So it's not uh, this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, feels weird to do it. But all right, so a couple of pointers with the form. Just check in and make sure if you need to have a look at what your form's doing. But let's start with scale one. So what we're gonna do is come to kneeling. Hands, I'm gonna use my couch for this one here. Same thing, we don't want the bottom back. We don't want it sinking forward, somewhere in the middle. I'm active here, my ribs are in. Shoulder width apart, shoulders relaxed away from the ears. And then I simply bend the elbows and I press away. So you might have to feel your length here away from the couch. You could also do this on a step. So somewhere between the shoulders being higher than the knees. A couple of things to note is making sure you're not lifting these towards the ears, winding them down and back. So the elbows are kind of coming out about 45 degrees down. All right, so if that's where you are, you're gonna to stick to five sets of eight. Next one. We're gonna to come to our toes this time. It's gonna make it a little bit harder. So you also get a good toe stretch here. Long spine, long neck, shoulders away from the ears, pressing the couch or the step away. From here, it's the same thing. Elbows bend 45 degrees, chest and belly lower at the same time. Down and press. Down and press. All right. Number three, the next one that would go from there would be a kneeling push-up. So, now even if 
Um, a kneeling push-up, full range is difficult. Just remember with these lower push-ups, you can limit the range by putting something there to support you. So you might want to come to your knees here. As I said, hips don't stick up, so we come forward one long line from the knees all the way through to the crown of the head. Spread the fingers, bend the elbows down. Maybe we tap that range and press away. Bend, tap that range and press away. If you want to go lower, you just lower your block or your book, whatever you've got. Bend and press away. If you're somewhere here, you're going to stop there and that's going to be your set of five sets of eight. Next one will be your full push-up. So we kind of covered this at the start. Toes are tucked, one long line, chest and belly lands. Now, if you want to work on your full range, you can actually bend all the way to the ground. You can even reach the hands out, come back in. Now the chest and belly will come off the ground at the same time. So we go lower, reach, come back in, and then we press. So it does take a fair bit of core stability. So that's why we scale it so you can build it up. You don't have to get straight to there straight away. You can use a book or a block to limit the range, or you can lift the upper body up until we can get to um, a full push up. And then of course, if you wanna do a negative little bonus, you don't have to, probably quite unnecessary, but I'll just show you anyway. You'll bring something lifted like a block um, underneath your hand, tuck the toes into your full push up here. Now from here, we'll bend the elbows so the shoulders actually go past the hands into a negative push up. And then we press all the way away. So it's lowering down, shoulders go past, and we press away. All right, I hope that was helpful. So there is your journey to a full push up. Make sure you take your time. Don't skip a phase. Make sure you're honest and you prove yourself before you go to the next one. And yeah, let me know how you go.